Welcome to the Open Smoke Whiskey Reviews. My name is Brent. If you're into whiskey, consider hitting that subscribe button with the notification bell. That way you'll be notified of new uploads and live streams. All right, guys, today we have the Joseph Magnus Bourbon. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the backstory on this whiskey. It is a triple cask whiskey. Um, in 2007, the great grandson of Joseph Magnus was going through some family memorabilia or heirlooms and found this 122 year old bottle of whiskey was thought to be the first bottle of whiskey that Joseph Magnus ever made. Um, they decided to extract a 100 milliliter sample out and introduce it to Nancy Fraley, Dave Shurek, and Richard Wolf to try. Um, once they tried this whiskey, they were absolutely amazed by it and it's decided to recreate it. And this is what they came up with. Uh, this is a 12 year old sourced MGP bourbon that is finished in La Rosso Sherry cask, Pedro Menez, and Cognac cask. Um, absolutely amazing whiskey and with that being said we'll get into the color nose and taste of this whiskey all right um, let's talk about the color of this whiskey for a second um, it is super dark guys it is super dark deep mahogany dark copper extremely dark whiskey um, in the bottle it actually looks almost like coffee in the bottle it is coating the glass fairly well it's got nice legs on it nice viscosity coating the glass very well um beautiful color on the whiskey just absolutely gorgeous color um and with that being said uh, we'll get into the nose of this whiskey all right on the nose Picking up immediately dark fruits, citrus, citrus notes, like an orange peel. The, the, the cast finishes are also coming through the, the sherry cast prominently for me. A little bit of pepper, baking spices. Like a toasted toffee note. A little bit of oak. A little bit of the oak note. It's a very complex nose. It is uh, definitely one that you're going to pick up new nuances and complexity each time you go back to the nose. Once again, orange, citrus, zest, um, a little bit of a lemon zest, the sherry finish. Dark fruits like cherries. Maybe even a little bit of a plum. A little bit of a pepper note, a little bit of a rice spice. Not picking up any heat really from the alcohol. This is 100 proof, 50% ABV. The, the, the orange zest and the, and the lemon zest really coming through on the nose. It's, it's, it's a beautiful nose on this whiskey. I absolutely adore the nose. It's, it's definitely complex. It's just a beautiful nose on this whiskey. Caramels, vanillas once again. Um, uh, dark, deep, rich fruits, um, such as your, your cherries, plums, orange zest, a little bit of a, a lemon, lemon zest also. Get a little bit of the sherry finish. Beautiful nose on this whiskey. And with that, let's get into the taste. All right, guys, let's get into the taste of this whiskey. Cheers. Very nice, very nice. On the front of the palate, you're getting deep, rich, dark fruits like your plums, cherries, maybe even a little bit of a strawberry note on there. I'm just kind of, it's very complex. Um, in the mid palate, it's got orange zest, maybe even a little bit of a lemon lemon peel. And on the, on the back, on the finish, it finishes off with sweetness like caramels, vanillas, a little bit of baking spices, 
and a peppery note. It's coating the mouth decently. Um, it's actually pretty well. It's coating the mouth. The finish is a, a decent finish on it. It's it's not super long, but it's definitely not short. I'd definitely say middle of the road. Very nice, very nice, very nice whiskey. Um, it's it's super complex. Like I'm getting a little bit of the. Uh, the sherry presence on the whiskey right now also. Let's go back in for another sip. Cheers. Beautiful whiskey. It is super complex. Um, Picking up a little bit of the cognac now, a toffee note also. The front of the palate is still deep, dark fruits such as your cherries. I'm getting, still getting that little bit of a strawberry note. The lemon and orange zest is definitely present. It, it is, it is um, definitely there. And also getting your caramels and vanillas your lighter sweetnesses on the finish with a peppery note, maybe some baking spices, and maybe a touch of nutmeg. Definitely a lot going on with this whiskey. This is definitely one you can spend some time with. Um, it's definitely um, uh, a very complex pour. Going for one more sip. Cheers. Once again, on the front of the palate, dark, deep, rich fruits, plums, cherries, strawberries, maybe even a little bit of an apple on, on the palate this time. Um, and the orange zest is, is now hitting the sides of the palate. Toffee notes, again, a deep, rich toffee note on this sip. Um, I know it may sound like I'm all over the place, but this whiskey is ever-changing. It is very complex. Also getting the sherry finish on the palate. Nice finish. It lingers. The mouthfeel is very nice. Um, absolutely amazing pour. I really, really enjoy this. Um, this is not something me personally I would go to every day just because it, it demands so much of your attention but if you're wanting a nice pour to sit down spend some time with this is a great great pour um it's the price range or msr msrp on this is around a hundred bucks availability I'm, I'm gonna say not super great um i usually go to one place to get it it's total wine Sometimes they have it, sometimes they don't. And it's like I said, it's around a hundred bucks. Do I think it's worth a hundred dollars? Absolutely. I absolutely adore this pour. Great pour. Once again, it's not something I would go to every single day. But if I'm going to sit down, spend some time with a dram, this is an amazing pour. All right, guys, it's going to wrap this one up. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what I'm doing, remember to hit the like button and the subscribe button with the notification bell. That way you'll be notified of new uploads and live streams. Like I said, once again, this is a great bourbon whiskey. If you get a chance to pick it up, I highly recommend it. With that being said, until next time, guys. Cheers.